The Skeleton System Everyone has a skeleton. It what makes you the shape you are. This is made up of lots and lots of bones. An amazing 206. Half of these are on the hands and the feet. This is the skeleton system. What's up? Yes, please. I've always wondered what the skeleton system is made up of. The skeletal system is what keeps your body in shape, protects your vital organs such as the heart and the brain and the lungs and enables you to move. Let me tell you something more about bones now. When you were a teeny weeny baby, you had tiny hands. Tiny feet and tiny everything. Slowly as you grew older, everything became a bit bigger, including your bones. A baby's body has about 274 bones at birth. These eventually fuse or grow together to form the 206 bones that adults have. By the time you're about 25, this process will be complete. After this happens, there can be no more growth. These bones are as big as they will ever be. All of these bones make up a skeleton. Let's take a look at some of the major bones starting at the top. The skull. The skull is the bony section of the head. The skull protects the brain and provides attachment for the muscles of the head and the neck. The cervical vertebrae. These are seven vertebrae of the spine that form the connection to the skull and the neck. The clavicle. The clavicle is the collarbone. The stranum. The stranum is the breastbone, a long, narrow, flat bone that forms the center of the front of the chest. The humerus. The humerus is a long bone in the upper arm that runs from the shoulder to the elbow. The vertebral column or spine. The spine is a column of bone and cartilage that extends from the base of the skull to the pelvis. The spine is made up of approximately 33 bones called the vertebrae. It encloses and protects the spinal cord and supports the trunk of the body and the head. The ribs. Ribs are flat curved bones that form the framework of the chest and they make up a cage. They protect the heart and the lungs. There are 12 pairs of ribs, each joined at the back of the cage to a vertebra in the spine. The radius. The radius is the shorter of the two forearm bones. The ulna. The ulna is the longer of the two bones of the forearm. The pelvis. The pelvis is a symmetric ring of bones at the base of the spine. It also provides support for the rest of the body above it. It protects abdominal organs such as the bladder, the rectum and in women, the uterus. The femur. The femur is the thigh bone, the longest bone in the body. The patella. The patella or kneecap is a triangular shaped bone at the front of the knee joint. Tibia. It is also called the shin bone. The tibia is the inner and thicker of the two long bones in the lower leg. The fibula. The fibula or the calf bone is the outer and thinner of the two long bones in the lower leg. And phalanges. The phalanges are the small bones that make up the fingers and the toes. Taking care of bones. Your bones help you out every day. So make sure you take real good care of them. Here are some tips. Drink milk and eat other dairy products. Strengthen your skeleton by drinking milk and eating other dairy products like low-fat cheese or frozen yogurt. They all contain calcium.
which helps bones harden and become really strong. Reactive. Another way to strengthen your bones is through exercise, like running and jumping and dancing and playing. Wear the right protective equipment. Wear a helmet when you ride a bike or wear the right equipment when you play sports.